Here's a quick video to show how to track compliance items like a code of conduct. So here in the documents area, I look at my documents list and we have a code of conduct form. It's associated with a number of teams. So all the members of these teams will be able to track their signature for this. So let's look at the definition of the code of conduct form. Uh, it's just given a name of code of conduct. It's shown here the athlete signatures required along with parents if the athlete's a child. And then only signatures are required. So that means this can be, the document can be presented in iCrew and the collection of the e-signature is done also through iCrew. You can see here there's a PDF uploaded to this document. So the PDF exists here in iCrew and that will be presented to the user for signature. And at the bottom of this document, again, all the teams that this applies to, those teams are selected. And that causes a tracking record to be generated for all members of all those teams. Now we'll switch over to the user's view and show you what it looks like to sign a document. All right, now I'm logged on as a rower on one of those teams and I am going to sign my code of conduct. So I'll go to my documents tab. This is again the user's view. And here's the code of conduct with a little button to sign. I'll click that button. The PDF is presented to me. And instructions here, just read the document, enter your name and tap the sign button. And you can see here, they just need to enter their name as it's shown and click sign. And it shows the code of conduct is on file and we're all good for this rower.